Continuing off of last video's topic, focusing on the loser rather than the winner, it's still Quicksilver. Now one interesting that sort of popped in my mind was, why is there a trail behind Quicksilver? Of course some speculations are going around. Some point it to being a trail of fast smoke, air recovering after being burnt by Quicksilver's speed, or reality bending right before our very eyes. Either that or it's just an illusion. Or maybe it is a visible fort cloud! Nah, that can't be it. PHO Maximoff is well known to pass the speed of sound, which brings up the notion that maybe Quicksilver creates a sonic boom as he runs. Well, a sonic boom is a sound effect created when an object moves faster than the speed of sound, kind of like thunder and lightning. Lightning is an electrical discharge between the clouds and the sky, while thunder is the booming sound you hear, if you see for yourself, takes a while to catch up with the flash of light. In this particular situation, the sonic boom isn't the trail we see. In fact, if you refer to this image, the cone-like shape that appears behind the plane as a result is more closely related to what Quicksilver's trail is. But why is this shape a cone and an Age of Ultron we witness some sort of smoky trail dissipate within the air around Pietro? Well, in the film, the twins Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are commonly referred to as Enhanced. Short exposition from the film, but the reason being is that they have volunteered for a man's experiment named Baron Von Strucker. Like real life, things don't always go your way, and thus the two are the only survivors of the experiment, granting them superhuman abilities. Wanda Maximoff was given telekinetic powers, while Pietro, super speed. What I would like to point out is that Scarlet Witch herself also has some sort of aura of smoke around her hands when she uses her powers. According to uk.iacworld.org, an aura is an energy field around somebody that is non-physical. I'm paraphrasing, of course. The article goes on to say that the perception and visibility of an aura physically means the viewer is able to use his or her innate psychic abilities. The implication here is that whatever Mr. Strucker did to give enhanced speed and telekinesis, it also gave the twins visible auras. Simply put, Strucker could have given them some form of excess energy. How, you ask? Well, to be honest, I don't particularly know, but this would explain why, when Quicksilver runs, it is more of a buzzing zip kind of sound instead of a loud crash like a sonic boom. The reason why you can't see Quicksilver's aura when he is standing still is the same reason why you can't see Scarlet Witch's aura when she is standing still. The auras are only visible when the powers are being used, thus creating a trail behind Quicksilver when he speeds up. This means that the super speed is most likely fed by the energy field. Whether this field is spiritual or mental, well, that's stepping a little too much on religious territory that I won't really touch on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, then hit that little subscribe button. And also, if you want to see last week's video, hit that little annotation on the screen. As always, I'll see you guys on the next video.